Hey there, and on this video we are going to look how you can create your own hash cracking tool using Python. So this is going to be really interesting. We are going to look at the modules that we need and then we will go to the coding part. So yeah, let's get started. So there are two modules that we need. The first one is hashlib and the second one is biofishlet. So let's have a look at each one of them. The Python hashlib module is an interface for hashing messages easily. So this contains numerous method or hashing algorithms which will handle hashing any raw message in an encrypted format. So this is going to be really useful for creating this tool. And the next module is PyFishLet. So this module takes text from user and display it in ASCII art format. So it contains different types of fonts that can be used to make script look more attractive on the terminal when we run it. So now let's move on to the coding part. Let's start by importing the modules, uh, hashlib module and the other modules. Now I'm declaring a variable called ASCII banner and here I'm going to use the pyfishlet module so pyfishlet.figlet hyphen format and inside the circular braces I'm basically going to put the text that I want to display on the terminal when we run this tool so hash cracker and then I basically want to print the ASCII banner on the screen. So let's have actually a look at what this uh, banner looks like on the terminal. So I have my terminal open in here. I'm gonna move on to the folder where I have this hashcracker.py saved. So python3 hashcracker.py and after I hit enter we can see the hashcracker in ASCII format and it, it looks good. So now let's move on to the next part. Now we are basically printing the available algorithms or options on the screen so the user can choose any algorithm from it and then we can decide what we need to do with it. So write in options or algorithms available and then the name of algorithms like MD5 or SHA1 etc. Now we need to declare a variable, I'm going to call it hash type and in this hash type we're basically going to store the input given by the user. So the first input that we are going to take is what's the hash type or what's the hash algorithm. So basically user is going to choose from the given options and type it out on the screen and then it will be stored in the hash type. Now we need to ask for another input and this input is going to take the path for the word list and it will be stored in the word list happen location variable. Now the one and last input that we want to take from the user is the actual hash that we want to crack which will be stored in the hash variable. Now I'm going to declare another variable which is going to open the file or the word list file that is given by the user and read that file. Then store it in the word list variable. Now in another variable list we want to take the word list provided by the user and split the strings into a list. So we can do that with the help of split lines function. Now we need to start a for loop, so for word in list. So we want to check each word in the word list and then we need to encode it using the given hashing algorithm and then we will check if the hash of that word and the hash given by the user are same or not. If they are same then we have cracked it otherwise display nothing on the screen. Now with the help of if statement we are checking the hashing algorithm given by the user. So if it is md5 then you need to perform this function else that function. So this is the syntax for the hashlib library you have to provide the hashing algorithm that is md5 then we need to take the word from the list and then encode it in udf8. Now when to take another variable that is hash and inside the hash we basically want to store the hex form or the hexadecimal form of the hash object variable. So hex object dot hex digest function and with the help of if statement we are going to check if that hexadecimal form of that word is same as the hex given by the user 
and according to that we're gonna print a statement on the screen so this one colon 32 um, is basically a syntax to change the color for the print statement so i'm using the green color so you can use that and research more about that on the google now we need to go on to the lf statement so we are now checking the hash type so the hash type is going to be now sha1 And again with the same statement but this time around we need to type in hashlib.sha1 so basically copy all of that code above and paste it and change the syntax a bit copy the elif statement and paste it four times and change it according to the given options Now last in the else statement, we are basically going to print an error message on the screen if none of the condition above is met. So let's have a look again at the whole code. So first import the modules, print the banner on the screen, print the options available on the screen, and then take the hash type from the user, take the location of the word list from the user, and take the actual hash from the user then read open and read that word list file and then split them in lines and then start a for loop in the list and check if the user hash type is md5 and according to that perform all those functions given in the if and lf statements otherwise print an error on the screen now let's have a look at how this code works so i also got a txt file in which i have stored some hash of some particular algorithm so i have the md5 hash sha1 and other hashes so i'm going to open my terminal now and i'm going to clear the screen up and run the code again so what's the hash type md5 and the word list location is wordlist.txt file which is in my current pen testing folder i already uh, downloaded it over there now I'm going to copy this hash and paste it on the terminal and hit enter. So hash found, hello. So it's working perfectly fine. Now let's have a look at another hash, copy it. And I'm gonna zoom the terminal a little bit. Then I'm gonna run this code again. And this time around the hash type is Oh, did you notice something? We wrote SHA-224 two times in the print, so let's change it. Uh, open the code editor and let's change this thing real quick. Uh, so many mistakes. Well, I guess that's how programming is like, otherwise you're a robot. So I'm going to open the text editor and copy the SHA-256 hash again and run the code again. So control C. Let's clear the screen up and run the code again. Now the hash type is SHA-256. Location word list .txt, And the hash. Oh, we didn't got anything. I guess something else is wrong in the code. Oh my god, I forgot to change the hash lib.256. Now it should be working fine. Let's run the code again. And type in all the details again. Hope it works this time. And yeah, it worked. We found the flag. Hash found. So this is how it works. You can try and add more algorithms in it and make some more changes if you want to. This is just basic code so you can understand what is going on and how to do it. So thank you for watching this video and hope you like this video.